Welcome to Badminton Unlimited, your weekly access to badminton action and beyond. This week, we speak to wheelchair badminton ace Karen Suta-Era about her remarkable badminton journey. And we visit Bandung, Indonesia to find out how a club outside of the country's capital is helping with the nation's badminton ambitions. Stoke Mandeville, England, recently welcomed top para badminton players from across the globe to the 10th BWF Para Badminton World Championships. Hosted in a town that started the Paralympic movement, the event thrilled, inspired, and showcased what the sport is all about. The highest level of para badminton was on display, and the players wowed all with their skill and athleticism. Badminton Unlimited was in England during the championships to meet one of the sport's most decorated players. Karen Suta-Era is a triple European champion, a double world champion, and ranked the best in her category. The Swiss player's dominance in the wheelchair class is unparalleled, and her achievements were recognized earlier this year when she was presented with Badminton Europe's Para Badminton Player of the Year Award. That was really um, a big honor for me to be elected as the best para badminton player and especially because it was the first time that someone in wheelchair or disabled was there and it was a, a beautiful evening. I could meet a lot of interesting people, have good conversation and I really enjoyed. Karen has been active in sports since childhood and was a sports student before an accident in 1997 left her wheelchair bound. But that didn't stop the Basel-born athlete from continuing to pursue her sporting dreams. And before her badminton journey, Karen had already proven herself to be an accomplished wheelchair tennis player, winning bronze at the 2004 Athens Paralympic Games. I was playing tennis intensively during um, eight to 10 years, and it was quite intensive with many tournaments. I played uh, between 10 and 15 tournaments a year. So it was really amazing, I loved that traveling around the world, but it was also, um, was really a lot. Having reached the top level of competition in tennis, Karen needed a new challenge. As a talented racket sports athlete who regularly plays badminton, the transition seemed logical for the Swiss. After uh, Beijing 2008, I wanted to stop my, my career in, at a high level sport. I thought that it's, that's fine, that's enough now. And then um, I had been playing badminton during all this time, like tennis, just twice a week um, because I was working as a sports teacher in a rehabilitation clinic. And I played there twice badminton with the patients. Anyway, so uh, I was into that and then 2010 the European Championship was held in Switzerland and Sonia, my doubles partner, she asked me to, to play with her the doubles as it was in Switzerland and so I started to train for that and, and played this European Championship and I liked it so much that I started uh, to compete again. <laughs> In her international debut at the 2010 European Para Badminton Championships, Karen and her partner Sonia Hassler won silver in women's doubles. This was not the end of an impressive first foray into international badminton, with the Swiss player also picking up gold in the women's singles. I didn't expect that at all, so that was a big, big surprise and I was quite happy about it. The results spurred Karen on and she has continued to shine on court. With Hassler, she became the 2011 Women's Doubles World Champion and grabbed gold in singles two years ago in Germany. Her successes in wheelchair badminton sees the Swiss ace consistently top ranked in her category. Two years ago, yeah, that was, the, I think, the, the biggest I can imagine to win a world championship. I, I wouldn't have expected this. We were close together, the Korean, the Thai player and me, and so it was really a question of daily form and close points, and I did really, really well, especially in the final, and I was very happy to win, to win this. And she justified her top billing last year, capturing three golds in singles, doubles, and mix of the 2014 European Para Badminton Championships. Regarded as the queen of wheelchair badminton, 
Karen was a favourite at the Power Badminton Worlds in England. But with record participants and facing stiff competition from Asia, the Swiss star only managed to win bronze in women's singles. However, she remains positive as she sees the sport growing and developing in the right direction. I'm really excited. There are so many good, good players from all over the world. I think that the level increased really tremendously the last years, I would say. And uh, when I've seen how many players are in, for example, in mixed, more than 30 teams, so it will be really amazing. The physical demands of competitive badminton are well documented and many players call time on their careers in their mid-30s. For Karen to be competing at the highest level at age 44 is truly remarkable and she has no intention of hanging up her racket just yet. With para badminton accepted into the 2020 Tokyo Paralympics, the Swiss sensation is inspired to carry on. Five years, it's, it's a long time, but I, I really hope I can make it. It would be a big goal, especially playing together uh, with Sonia, the doubles, as she never has, has been to the Paralympic Games. And yeah, I hope my body will, will be ready for this, as I'm not too young anymore, but I do everything to, to get there. Dynamic and determined, Karen Suter Erath is ready for more on sport's biggest stage. And on her way to Tokyo, you'll be sure she'll add a few more goals to her already impressive medal collection.